Good to be back at the State House. It, it, it was interesting. It was nice. I was certainly well received by my former colleagues on both sides of the aisle. And um, nice to see friends. I mean, I truly, truly have some very good friends there. And um, a group of us went out for dinner. And it, it, so that was nice. But I had no regrets getting in the car and heading back up to the North Country. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a bruising battle over the budget this year that ended yes. up being a little late. But after several months being away and, and having the session going on, uh, were there times when you were feeling, oh, I wish I was back in the thick of it? Or are you happy with your decision and, and, and comfortable with uh, walking away? I, have, you know, I, I, do, I have not missed the Albany bit as much as I thought I would. Um, I always sort of saw it as the necessary evil part. So uh, I've, I've been pleased that that has not given me any draw to, gee, come on back. I miss terribly the constituent work here in the North Country. Uh, you know, I, I still hear from people. I still have people wanting me to help. And, um, and I'm not criticizing the Assemblyman Jones when I say that. People got comfortable with me. They knew me. They, something we worked on, they call me back. And I say, I really don't have, I, I don't know what I can do at this point and, and recommend they, you know, they call the office. But I miss that. I really miss that. I, I miss the, the interaction that I had with people. Um, maybe I miss partly just having a place to go every day and, and know that I could do something that was going to help somebody. But um, I've yeah, been giving a lot of speeches, uh, spending a lot of time with high school students and, and some middle school students, and, and that's just fun. And it's this thing I never, it's the kind of thing I never really had time to do before. Middle of the day, I'd never had time. True. And Although you would always make time on weekends to meet with students. The oh. League of Women Voters every year would oh, host absolutely. events where you would meet yeah. uh, with, with students and talk about your, your career in politics. And the Hugh O'Brien Conference was is always on a Saturday. I've always done those things, but this is sitting in, with classrooms, and, and I would do tours of all the schools, but they were in and out quick. But I've, I've had several now that were, have been really good, and um, I've realized my brain is still functioning, and that's kind of a nice thing to, good. to, to know. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, but I, so I'm kind of a mixed thing. I, uh, I'm glad I'm not doing the, the Albany every day for six, or for too many days too for many six days months. A week, yes. and, um, so after 41 years yeah. of, of public service, are you glad to be able to have the break, or is it something that maybe you think in some capacity you would ever consider again? Oh, no, I will never, you'll never see my name on a ballot again. No. No, <laughs> never. Um, I've been asked, to be honest, I've been asked uh, about a couple of positions that are open this year if I would consider running, and, and I just, that's no. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little burnt out about that. Uh, certainly the primaries that were so nasty and, and, uh, They burnt me, yeah. and and in more ways than one, I guess. And I I have no desire whatsoever to to put my name back out there, and 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 I'm I don't think my children would take that well. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, but you may do things like this where you uh, uh, causes you feel passionate about uh, using uh, um, your name, using your your years of. Uh, public service to uh, perhaps mm -hmm. yeah. do good. And, you know, I've had the opportunity to get on many boards. Um, I've accepted two so far. I think that the danger is to get on so many that I give up my life again. And <laughs> um, I'm, you know, to be, I guess, I'm looking forward to a summer. Uh, you know, we have a camp in Willsboro, as you know. That's how yeah. Teresa Sayward and I are such great friends. We have been since we were teenagers. and. I looked back at the last 10 years and I've spent an average of four days a year down there. And uh, this year, um, I'm, I'm moving in for a while. And, uh, you know, I mean, certainly my children enjoy it, my grandchildren enjoy it, so we'll, we'll split it up. But I can tell you it's gonna be much more than four days sitting on that porch and reading a book and visiting with friends. And, and you and Teresa, a former assemblywoman uh, yes. from Willsboro, are also planning to travel in the next year or so. Yes, so. we are. Yes, It'll be wonderful. Are. Plattsburgh State this weekend is going to honor you with a uh, Distinguished Service Award for your decade uh, at the Assembly, but also really your, your 40 years altogether in public service. That's incredibly nice. That I, uh, you know, I've had a lot of awards, and, and they were all have a special meaning to me in one way or another, but I never saw this one coming. 
and Marty Mannix called me. I think it was on a Sunday morning. I know it was snowing. It was really a nasty day <laughs> out. And, and said he wanted to talk to me for a few minutes. And, you know, Marty and I have been certainly political opponents, but friends. Um, and he told me that the council wanted to give me the Distinguished Service Award. And Tom, I was speechless. Uh, and, and, you know, that doesn't happen very often with me. So <laughs> I think it's, I think he kept, he said to me, are you there? <laughs> um, uh, you know, and, and I think that my next thing was why. <laughs> uh, and, and so I, yeah, I did not see this coming. I'm, I'm incredibly honored. It's certainly a, a very nice award. It's, it's a very nice recognition. I hope I've deserved it. Um, you know, I did spend 10 years on the Higher Education Committee, so during the last 10 years, we've worked even more closely. But over my years in the legislature and the treasurer's office, there were always interactions with the college. And, and with the people who were there. And uh, again, I have been to several classes this year and spoken with students. And um, th I, th those are the, just the things I like, but, but this is nice. This, this feels good. I'm, I'm, I'm humbled and very pleased with this award. I think like so many, they're grateful for your so many years of distinguished service. Well, thank you. Janet Dupree, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us. Thank you, Tom, anytime.